China reportedly urging the U.S. to cave to Russia's demands for a NATO rollback as tensions over the Ukrainian border continue to grow. KT McFarland served as Deputy National Security, Security Advisor <laughs> under President Trump, and she joins us now to react. KT, so great to see you on a Sunday morning. Thanks so much for being here, and congrats on your book. We'll, we'll mention that at the end for sure. It's called Revolution, Trump, Washington, and We the People. But what's happening in Ukraine, is it, and the fact that the Chinese are now backing the Russians, is this, mm -hmm. uh, have we pushed them into the same camp together, or at least how things have developed, or is this revealing an alliance that has been developing over time? Well, I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, you know, with the, the Russiagate, the faux Russiagate investigation of President Trump, it really pushed the Russians away from the United States, making no possibility of any kind of um, working together on any issue and push Russia in the hands of open arms of China, which wants Russia's natural resources, their oil and natural gas. So the alliance was going to happen anyway, but because I think of our actions in the Trump years, um, we pushed them into it. And now they're working, you know, they're now totally in cahoots with each other. China is supporting Russia over Ukraine in, an, in anticipation that Russia will turn out to support China when it goes after um, Taiwan, which I think will happen this year, in the next year. Interesting. Let's get to that next topic, because the Chinese ambassador to the U.S. was on National Public Radio on Friday and had this to say about the status of Taiwan. Take a listen. The Taiwan issue is the biggest tinderbox between China and the United States. If you know, the Taiwanese authorities emboldened by the United States, you know, keep going down the road for independence. It most likely involve China and the United States, the two big countries in the military conflict. You know, they, they almost couldn't mirror themselves more closely. You've got yeah. Ukraine, which wants more independence. Russia wants to use this as an opportunity to bring it back under the fold. Taiwan, same deal. It is, Will one signal to the other what the United States will do, or are they different circumstances? Well, right now, I think China is sort of sitting back, eating the popcorn, watching the movie. You know, what will Putin do with Ukraine? What will Putin get out of NATO? Will he be able to fracture NATO? Will he be able to use Russian energy exports to Europe, but particularly to Germany, to peel them off? You know, if they don't support NATO, what happens next? If Putin gets what he wants with NATO, does he maybe make a move on the Baltic states, which are NATO members, unlike Ukraine, which is not? I think the Chinese are looking at this and saying, hmm, if Putin gets away with it, if the Biden administration folds on Ukraine, potentially even seeing a weakening of NATO, boy, you know, then China thinks they've got open season on Taiwan. When I was part of the Trump administration, early on, the Chinese leaders all came to the United States and they said, we want Taiwan. It's a non-negotiable part of our relationship. Taiwan is historically China, and we are going to get it one way or another, and don't you dare stand in our way. So interesting. Uh, I, it, it appears that Vladimir Putin feels the same way about the former satellite countries of the USSR. And what we do now will say a lot about how they act in the future, especially after the Olympics. You know all of this. Uh, by the way, again, congrats on the book, KT, Revolution, Trump, Washington, and We the People. So great to have you on this Sunday morning. Thanks, KT. Pleasure and an honor. Thank you.